Hi guys, good morning, happy Monday. This video is uh, something I did last week when I, I went and did my regular medical checkup with uh, Dr. Franco Tremba. I've used many doctors over the years in Hong Kong. I used to use Dr. Fowler, and then I used to use Dr. Merritt, and then I also used to use Dr. Cox. These were all uh, medical examiners at the Cathay Pacific Medical Center. And then of course I used to use Dr. Otremba as well. Um, a number of you have asked me about color deficiency problems and whether you can become a pilot if you've got a color deficiency. Of course, it depends on the degree of color deficiency, as I've found out, of course, speaking to an uh, aviation medical examiner. So today I'm with Dr. Franco Tremba, who's been doing medical exams, obviously, for more than 40 years now in uh, Hong Kong, and he's authorized to do the FAA medicals for... Um, United States for, I think he's also authorized to do Canada and Australia, but whatever. I asked him the question that all of you that have been asking me regarding color deficiency. And this is what he said. This is Dr. Otremba, he's my AME. And uh, a lot of you ask me about uh, color blindness and whether you can become pilots and so on. Doctor, you've been uh, an AME for I think I've been coming to you for more than 30 years. Correct, really. correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. And uh, I have questions that people ask me on my yeah. page about uh, color blindness and what mm -hmm. are the limits, mm -hmm. what's required, and what is it that could disqualify mm -hmm. someone from becoming a pilot. Mm -hmm. What did you say for me? Well, um, at all initial uh, examinations, we do a, a simple uh, color vision mm -hmm. test. Now, basically, if you pass the color vision test, that's good for life. So there's no point repeating it each year. There are situations where there are gray areas and we call it red green deficiency. So apart from the basic Ishihara, which is matching all the circles and figures up, we pass you on to the next test, which would be a D15, which is matching all the circles up and the different shades. Now, if it's still dubious, we go on to the gold standard, uh, which is ca carried out called the Lantern Test, which is a worldwide accepted test. Now, if this Lantern Test, you pass it, it's a pass w worldwide. If it's a fail, it's a fail. Unfortunately, uh, if you fail the color vision tests, it, it, there's no point in, in becoming a pilot because it would only be any good for daytime flying or PPL. Um, so the cases I see mostly are young people who've been screened at school and found to be colour deficient, so red-green deficient, come to me and say I want to become a pilot. So we do the uh, lantern test because there's no point in ca carrying on at this young age with a, uh, an enthusiasm for piloting when there's no chance. Yeah. Um, the only change you'll get with colour vision is in cases of severe traumatic brain or cranial nerve or damage, so, uh, and that's it. So it, it's a well-defined area. There are many people who are colour deficient, but not yeah. colour defined, not colour blind. That means there may be slight red-green deficiencies, but they can pass the superior colour vision test. And being red-green deficient is not a bar to becoming a pilot. Of course, the color vision testing, why we do it is important because of takeoff and landing lights, particularly at night, and it's, uh, the color vision is uh, very important. Yeah. Uh, it's rather like uh, color vision is in policemen. I mean, if a policeman's color, color blind and he can't tell whether the, the guy's got black eyes or red eyes or is wearing a green jumper or a red sweater there's, there's no point evidence in court so that's a good yeah. example all right that's I, good. Yeah. if there's any questions we can always employ but there's a simple that's a simple breakdown of it yeah we can okay. do all this in the office it is yeah all the what about this Ish ishihara test that people talk about is that an important one uh, that's the basic the, the the basic test the ishihara is a very basic test, but it's not the gold standard. Right. Basically, if you pass the Ishihara, we know it's a very simple test. If you pass that, you're fine. But if you fail it, we still don't regard that as a failed 
color vision we take you to the next step which is a more refined test like the d15 or the lantern test right. the lantern test is the gold standard we do it in hong kong at the hong kong polytechnic because it's um it's not every doctor's office or even have med can uh, have a this right. facility okay good it's, it's all fairly straightforward yeah and we can give you an answer you know black and white sorry i'm not red and green black and white okay right. okay good so there you go you've got it uh, from a medical expert who does these things he's been doing them for years that's uh, the answer from a professional so i hope it helps in some way in uh, alleviating any concerns go through all those tests and make sure that you've ticked every box on the color deficiency issue and you can become a pilot still don't give up just do everything that you need to do. Okay? Later.